What's going on guys? I'm Bandit. This is Rural Legends TV. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to dive into something pretty serious and well, uh, pretty typical of uh, gun controllers. Before we get into it though, I want to say thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks to everybody who's been commenting, liking the videos. Guys, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm when y'all like and y'all comment. I know a lot of my folks have been uh, getting unsubscribed. YouTube it goes through and just unsubscribe folks randomly uh you know it is what it is if you like and you comment on my videos you'll it, it will beat the algorithm essentially it'll make sure that my content ends up on your feed whether youtube scrubs you from my subscriptions or not if you are not subscribed consider subscribing to the channel if you're like me and you're probably on a list and current events piss you off well subscribe We'll get along good. If you have been subscribed, just double check to make sure that you haven't been unsubscribed. This shit's been happening. Guys, I'm rambling a little bit, but that's how I do it. So let's dive into a pretty serious topic. We're talking about the tragic events that have happened in New York. Uh, I'm going to try to word things correctly so I don't get zucked and uh, to stay on this platform as long as possible. Uh, you know, we, we have these events that take place and it takes no time for gun controllers and folks who really hate the Second Amendment to jump on it and to use it to push uh, their propaganda and to push their legislative power, I should say. We've already seen bills that have just popped up overnight, not surprisingly, uh, and we're regards to what has happened so it's I, I see a lot and i'm going to try to put a little bit you know right in here talking about i see a lot of news articles and people talking about body armor so in the past you know firearms have always been the boogeyman they have always been you know that's the end goal get rid of guns that is what gun controllers want they want zero guns in the hands of private citizens now they're starting to realize that it's going to be a lot harder than they expected. You see places and you see folks and news organizations quoting studies saying, oh, well, people support assault weapon bans and gun control and stuff like that. Oftentimes they're quoting, well, about 99.99% .99 of the time, they're quoting studies from 2017, 2018, 2019. They're not quoting studies from 2020, 2021. 2022. The reason being is, let's think about what happened in 2020 to 2022. We saw a massive, massive influx of new gun owners. Folks who had never been in the gun community, never bought a gun, maybe had shot one, but really, nah, I don't need a gun. Every, all of a sudden, everybody started going and buying guns. Massive amount. Millions, millions of people become gun owners in the past that two years, we'll say. Could that be skewing the uh, gun control studies? Probably. Most most likely. You know, these studies that are used for assault weapons bans are probably not getting the same results that they were in 2017. So, big plus for us. The more gun owners we have, the better off as a community we are. Uh, but guys, they've learned, the leftists have learned that their liberal propaganda and, you know, trying to ban assault weapons is not going to work. Uh, so now they're going after the next big thing, and it's body armor. So we've seen laws in New York, I think, in the past, uh, where they've tried to ban body armor. So in New York, where we have uh, assault weapons bans and standard capacity magazine bans and like handgun bans and carry bans and bans for everything, you know. What's the, what's the one song? Bands will make her dance. Talking about the, another type of band. Well, now we're talking about bands. Bands make liberals dance. It seems. Uh, damn, that's a good joke. It's come off the top of my head. Bands will make them dance. I'm gonna. That's that's the new meme, guys. Bands will make them le will make them dance. Talking about the left. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, guys. You know I like to ramble. Anyway. An old Southern boy, I, you know, you know how it is in the South. We spend two hours talking to you, and we're gonna tell you a damn thing. Anyway, 
so we've seen we've seen the bands on everything go through uh new york and you have events like this happening in places like new york uh, los angeles new orleans chicago man. take the pick these liberal held cities where they have all sorts of you know gun control they have these massive events i'm really trying to watch my tone and watch my language on this so i don't get up so y'all know what i'm talking about the pew pews uh massive you know mass pewings uh you know and and people get upset like it's you know the law-abiding citizens fault like ask any law-abiding citizen we denounce mass murder we denounce you know ethnic cleansing we denounce you know all the shit that goes on in these criminal areas it's not on us but the left doesn't see it that way it's our fault so they've got to get rid of our guns and now they're wanting to get rid of body armor for civilians they want to get rid of the the really the only way for us to passively defend ourselves if we can't carry a gun to defend ourselves they now want to make it to where we can't even have something hard between us and our squishy bits like do you want to leave your populace so defenseless that you want to just come in and and take away our ability to passively defend ourselves now given not everybody's walking around with body armor and i don't fully anticipate anybody to be walking around with you know level 3a body armor beneath their shirt but you know has it run through my mind driving through certain areas like damn i can't have my gun should be nice to have a plate carrier right now yeah it probably would you know it would be nice to be able to do that in some areas you probably do need to walk around with a damn plate carrier who knows i don't know i live in the sticks with you know if I see somebody walking with a gun, chances are he's going to shoot a damn coyote or something. You know, I ain't too worried about it. But they want to pat to get rid of all of our ways to defend ourselves, whether it's active defense, firearms, knives, pepper spray. You know, look at look at Hawaii. You can't even have a stun gun in Hawaii. Ways to actively defend ourselves, and now they want to get rid of passive defense because it has nothing to do with keeping you safe. They you have zero. They'll sit there and tell you it's to keep you safe. It's to be you know. For, for public safety, they don't give a shit about that. They want to make it so much easier to control you, put the, put you under their thumb. You know, if you can't, uh, you know, if you can't defend yourself with a gun, you can't be defensive with body armor, what do you have left? You have nothing. Guys, I really think that they're going to start pushing this a little bit more because people are going to be more receptive to say, oh, well, yeah, yeah. You know, no, people really don't need body armor. Shoot, you know, that's, yeah. I mean, who wears body armor? And nobody needs Kevlar. Police need Kevlar, right? But yeah, no, civilians don't need Kevlar. And I think they'd be able to push it a lot better. And I don't know if, you know, constitutionally, we would be able to spin it that, you know, passive defense could be, you know, constitutionally protected. I don't know. But then you get to the point where, okay, well, you know, if they're going to take away my ability to have body armor, I'll just go to the hardware store and go make it or buy AR 500 target steel and make my own, even though I don't like steel body armor because spalling. Although I do want to do a test on how deadly spalling is. And, uh, I think we're going to shoot some steel and we're going to see if you had to make body armor out of steel, could you stop the spalling and how will you stop the spalling? But anyway, guys, getting all the tangent. Come for the body armor next. Gun controllers are just reeing at this. You know, the little thing that they do, you know, heads exploding, you know, Trump derangement syndrome, all that stuff, man. It, it's all coming. They're, they're taking L's left and right, and so they're pulling out all the stops. Guys, if we can make it to the end of 2022, we'll be doing good. You know, shit's fucked, unfortunately. Guys, if you stuck around this long in the video, I really appreciate it. I'm not sponsored. I am not, you know, I have no funding anywhere. I'm not a big YouTuber where I get ads and stuff like that. So guys, you watching these videos is all I need. I really appreciate it. I love seeing that green up era, seeing people watch my videos. So please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all know the deal. Stay armed, stay safe. Keep your heads on a swivel. Other than doing Y'all be good. We'll see you in the next one.